here with Ian Anderson after a 2-0 win on the road at Welling United. Ian, another, well, very professional performance right, from the boys. I think it was uh, in in the end. I feel, you know, um, first 15, 20 minutes wasn't a lot, a lot between us. We got the goal <coughs> and put us in front. And then I felt they had a really good 15, 20 minutes and they caused us lots of problems. Michael's had to uh, to make some, some good saves. And uh, it was a really tough sort of 35, 40 minutes. And then... It's we've got to be. Was it a penalty? It's, it's a harsh decision. If it had been the other way, I would have been fuming. Um, and Saturdays look more of a penalty than what that did tonight. So, um, but you've got to take what you get. As I said, you know, you, some some weeks you get them, some weeks you don't, and it evens itself out over the course of the season. So, we'll accept it. We take it. Sean's put it away, and I think they just settled us down. Second half, I felt second half we were really professional. The way we went about our job, we defended really well, created three or four really good chances to put the game to bed, and we didn't do that. And that's probably the only. The only uh, thought I could say at the end of the game is we didn't put the game to bed earlier than what we should have done. How pleasing is it to see the boys bounce back after Saturday's well, defeat? Really pleasing because you know you leave you leave Saturday and and you start having doubts. You have doubts about um, players. You have doubts about your shape. You have doubts about what we're doing right and what we're doing wrong. Um, and, and, and the one thing you have to keep coming back to is that there's a reason why we were. We were, we were top of the league for a period of time. There's a reason why we're fourth. There's a reason why we got 27 points. And there's a reason why we've only lost game. Because we're a good side um, and we've got good players. And, and when the players work to the level they work tonight, we're a good side. When we let ourselves down a little bit on Saturday, and as I've said, you know, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt because of, of the three-week break and, and, and the period where we had to isolate for 10 days is that, did we do enough training individually? Um, and there were little things that, that, that I look at and question, um, but certainly tonight, you know, the, the work rate and the commitment and the, the endeavour to go and get three points was there, which I didn't think was there on Saturday. Another clean sheet, but how important was Michael Johnson to it with those three big saves? Massive three big saves, isn't it? but he's there, that's what he's there for. I mean, Michael's made two, two mistakes over the last two games, and he's the first to acknowledge that, that the you know, mistakes from him is, is very rare and few and far between. But tonight, he, he's more than made up for that with, with three outstanding saves and uh, he kept us in the game at a really important time there. And, and we're going to need him all season. We know what he's like. You know, Michael's a very, very good goalkeeper. We've seen all se season, you know, th there is a reason why we've only conceded seven goals. And Michael's, you know, part of that um, because him in the back four in the midfield and even, you know, Sean works his, uh, works his, his socks off up front and uh, it makes everything so much easier for the rest of the team. And... Uh, he showed again tonight three important saves, and uh, and I'm pleased for him because, as I say, he doesn't make many 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 mistakes. But when he does make a mistake, it sort of highlights it. And uh, but I'm pleased for him to go and get a clean sheet this evening. We saw Zane Banton and Tom Bender out there training before the game. How are they looking, and how is uh, Solomon as well? Well, it's really the first um, it's it's first time for us to get Zane in tonight, um, and, and and he wanted to go on the bench, but you know he's done nothing for the last really three and a half weeks, so. He'll train on Thursday, train Saturday, and then he comes back in contention for next Tuesday um, at Dulwich. And Tom Bender's exactly the same. Tom's Tom's probably a week away from from being allowed to play now. Um, again, if we were really short tonight, I probably could have stuck him on the bench. Solomon finishes isolation uh, tomorrow, so he'll be back in on Thursday, um, and then we'll see where all three are when we go into next Tuesday's game against Dulwich. But again, we know we're going to have a a 21-man squad to pick from, which is which is probably more than we need. But you know, we're going to go into a really t heavy period now in terms of um, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. We don't know, as I said on Saturday, where where we are with the virus from from not from one week from one day to another. So we have to respect the virus. We have to respect what the government's saying, uh, and then we'll have to see where we are. As I say, take each day as it, a day as it comes, and uh, prepare. First and foremost was to train Thursday and then we can prepare to train Saturday and then prepare for Dulwich on, on Tuesday. So let's hopefully, you know, we can we can get to grips with this virus. Let's hopefully that football can continue and uh, and we can still keep picking up results. Brilliant. Thank you, Ian. Thanks very much. Cheers.